All right, guys, welcome back to our Madden 25 Connected Franchise Player Mode Johnny Manziel series. Boom. Right into the game today. Um, nothing to report, really, in the way of uh, injuries. Uh, same status quo. Uh, nothing to report in terms of awards. Only one pickup since last episode. Uh, Jabari Greer signing a one-year, $4 million contract with the Browns. The cornerback comes in presumably... To, uh, to fill in the spot that was uh, that saw, uh, darn it, who was it now? Um, I forget who it was in last episode, to be honest. Uh, traded away. It was our nickel corner. Um, Greer will come in to fill that role, getting a third rounder in exchange for the uh, the departed corner solid. Uh, but today, big day, episode number f uh, four of the second season of this uh, Johnny Football series. We are in Pittsburgh today. Um, huge game, huge game. We talked uh, last uh, game about the importance of winning those early divisional games. And uh, this is our first road divisional game and against a very solid opponent. The Steelers and the Ravens right now are both 2-1. Uh, and one. Uh, We are sitting very nice and pretty up on top of the division at 3-0. Uh, and oh, But uh, certainly two teams right now breaking down the door to try and get to, uh, to try and get to us and avoid the Browns winning their uh, their second straight uh, uh, division title, <clears throat> and so with that, we're gonna have to put on a great performance today. Certainly a better performance than we had last week. Um, we we'll watch the, uh, the the Steelers opening drive. They're moving the football well uh, on third down. Fortunately, they get an incompletion, and uh, the punt goes for a touchback. Um, so Steelers moving the football, chewing up the clock a little bit, uh, but uh, we'll see exactly how this plays out. Um, we are going to leave the receiver situation for the Browns as it was um, for now. We may readdress that in the future. Quickly, we'll go into the Steelers roster. Ben Roethlisberger, obviously QB there. Le'Veon, Bell, Garrett, Blunt, solid run, running back duo. Fullback Montel Owens with receivers. Antonio Brown, Darius Hayward Bay, Lance Moore, and Martavius Bryant. Tight end Heath Miller, the vet. Uh, he's joined by David Paulson, left tackle Marcus Gilbert, left guard Ramon Foster, center Marquise Pouncey, right guard David Castro is hurt, so Cody Wallace will fill in there. Mike Adams also hurt, so David Bakhtiari uh, starting there. Lots of injuries in the AFC North in terms of offensive line play. Left end Tony Gerard, Eddie right end uh, Adrian Claiborne is hurt, so Stephen Tuitt will be there for them. Defensive tackle Kendrick Ellis. Uh, Steve McClendon will uh, work in and out of that lineup as well. Quentin Copels, the outside linebacker. Middle linebackers, Ryan Shazer, Lawrence Timmons in there. Right outside linebacker, Jarvis Jones. Corners, Cortez, Allen, William Gay, Antoine Blake, and Bryce McCain. Free safety, Mike Mitchell. Strong safety, Troy Polamalu. Uh, what is there to be said about Troy Polamalu? It hasn't already been said. Garrett Hartley, the kicker. Punter, Ryan Quigley. And returners, Antonio Brown. And uh, that's it. We'll uh, be taking back kicks and punts today. So uh, that's the uh, that's the squad we're up against today. And uh, that's what we have to work with. We'll uh, get this one underway quickly uh, right out of the gate with a passing play here. Palomalu comes on the blitz. Check down to Gordon, who makes a nice catch. Brought down by a whole gaggle of Steeler defenders. But uh, nice play there. And uh, Steelers bringing the blitz early. Uh, Browns don't panic. Get solid pass protection. Manziel throws a nice pass. Solid. Gordon makes a nice catch. Gotta love it so far. Good Good start. Good start. Um, since last episode, I've kind of decided that um, certainly today's game plan is going to be more conservative than it has been. We've been really running and gutting the last few games and uh, the reality is we've had we've had some success with that. Don't get me wrong. We've definitely uh, done some great things with uh, with that being the case. However, um, for today's game, I would really love to just play this one sweet and simple. Really get back to basics, more conservative calls, dump the ball off a little more. And oh, Manziel under pressure. Fumble. Schwartz picks it up. Fat guy with the ball. Schwartz tackled. At the 25-yard line, Copels gets in there, nobody open, which was a bit of an issue last week. Um, yeah, I had the option right there to uh, maybe that was just me. I want to check out the instant replay here. Um, if you check the left side of the field, coming across the screen, boom, right there in the middle of the field, we had an option. But we were forced to scramble by that point already. 
Or maybe we weren't. We actually, ah, maybe maybe I just scrambled a little too early on that one. Um, aside from that, just no option here. Benjamin, the interior option on this side, came open, but, man, that corner was waiting to strike. Really midfield, the only option in that play, and I'd rolled already at that point. Um, we'll punt this one away, uh, but as I was saying, definitely want to try and keep it more conservative, um, more straightforward, um, and just try and set us up for more success that way. If we end up punting a few extra times, not the end of the world. Um, it's better than turning the football over uh, because it saves us the field position. Uh, and there, as you can see, Steelers certainly winning the battle of the field position already. They force a three and out from the Browns, and they take over at their own 42. Already across midfield, they're driving again um, on the ground and in the air. And uh, Lance Moore, touchdown on third and goal from the six. Steelers at home take a three, uh, pardon me, a seven zip lead here with one minute to go in the first quarter. Um, Brown's offense comes out, uh, a group that, again, got off to a really hot start this year since then has cooled off. Certainly last week was a humbling experience for them. Um, some really nice extended drives, but also, you know, um, some drives that, uh, many drives that ended uh, with just errors, um, either picks or drops or just poor route running or just de you know a, a blanketing defense. Jordan Cameron's sneaky run up there on the sideline, 27 yards in that reception. Sometimes great things happen when you just call a simple play and just let your talented players do what they do best. We'll get the snap off before the end of the half. Another three receiver set. Gary Barnage sneaking out. He doesn't have a lot of speed. But uh, does he? No, he didn't really get out there. Manziel just takes off for a short little gain, and we will get one more play in before the end of the half. Um, I'd love to just hit um, West coming out of the back, and no, they they okay. End of the quarter, whatever. <laughs> second and seven in Steeler territory. When we come back to the second quarter, um, I want to open this one up with a uh, with a little screen pass. Um, just try and hit West out of the backfield. See if he can pick up the first down, maybe a little more. That would be delightful. Um, lots of pressure, and we get some nice blocks. Beauty. First down and more, 15 yards. That was excellent. Juan Airy got out there. Alex Mack got out there. Perfect set of blocks. Last week, we, we ran that play, and it was an absolute unmitigated disaster. Um, Juan Harry and Mac, um, both uh, supposedly very solid interior uh, offensive linemen, got out into the flat and just absolutely um, got schooled by a defensive back who just split them and uh, destroyed the ball carrier uh, a solid two or three yards behind the line of scrimmage. Today, though, um, solid play, great blocks downfield. And uh, solid carry, positive yard. There we go. Another quick, just, just quick out run. And Eddie Royal makes the touchdown. What a run for him. My goodness. Eddie Royal, the newcomer, signed on just before the beginning of last game. And, folks, he has earned himself a damn thumbnail. Man, I'm alive. He takes this ball at the 10-yard line, turns it upfield, makes one man miss, makes two men miss, strips a would-be tackle, and boom. What a great carry after the catch. Spin move. You got to love it. And this is perfect because with Eddie Royal having success on that play, I'll be able to make a pun based on his name and the popular song that's currently out by What's-Her-Face. That shows how much I follow modern music when I call the actress who sings that song about Royals. What's her face? Feist is her name? I don't know. Either way, Eddie Royal gets a thumbnail, and uh, we get a tie game. 7-7 seven, seven the score after that. Justin Tucker, PAT. And uh, unfortunately, Steelers driving again. We got very lucky last week. The, uh, the Browns defense putting in an absolutely stellar performance. Today, not so much. Steelers drive the entire field, put in a uh, and go for a score. Um, Big drive there from the Steelers, killing a lot of time. This game is moving about twice as fast as the last one did with the Steelers actually capable of moving the football. Quinton Copples makes the tack there, and uh, we are just outside of three minutes. And we're going to go to the air here. Gordon 
Um, his man way off. I would love to hit him on this little curl route in man coverage. Sure enough, that's what we get. Sure enough, he makes the catch, and he makes a nice play. Don't know why he juked back towards the defender. Would have liked to see him juke to the sidelines and try and take it up there, but we'll keep it regardless. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Take that for what it's worth. Um, solid play. Here we'll just check it down inside to West. He goes for four yards, five yards. Solid play. That will likely get us to the two-minute warning. We'll call a play just to get us there. And uh, so far, solid offensive performance. Obviously, the first drive, not good. But uh, the touchdown drive I thought was excellent. This drive, currently cooking um, and just trying to do our best now to focus on these, uh, just try and focus on creating simple plays. You know, make one good play. And here we actually, we unload it for West downfield who fails to bring it in. He beat out the linebacker, beat out everybody, came open, and uh, just took a beating from Troy Palomalu, unfortunately, on that play. So that does that. So that, that we do take a shot there. Uh, doesn't work out, unfortunately. Should have um, if he was able to hold on to the ball. But uh, not the end of the world. We'll go to the screen pass on the left side of the field here to Marcel Reese. Fullback screen. Gotta love it. Marcel Reese makes the catch, turns it upfield, gets a block, gets around the corner, showing off that speed. The big man. Beauty, beauty of a play. Marcel Reese so fast. Um, brings such a dynamic to the table that 99% of fullbacks uh, in professional football don't. Manziel takes off. Unfortunately, West unable to throw a block. Could have sprung Manziel there. Still a decent play. Clock running. Uh, we'll go ahead here, call bench. Uh, Benjamin and Cameron running the corner routes. Somebody between those two should come open. Uh, instead, we won't wait. And Oh, Eddie Royal drops it. The defender came up to knock it away. Missed, meaning Eddie Royal has nobody in front of him. Unfortunately, however, he is not able to hold on to the football. And so we're going to have to air it out here on third down. Uh, an open wide open over the middle. Nobody around him. Eddie Royal, boom, makes good for the mistake just a moment ago. Making a nice catch over the middle. he That's just pure speed, folks. Beats his man with a hard step. Then just bursts across the field. Wide open. Stellar. We got a free safety blitz coming here. I'm going to send West on the fly to attack that exact part of the field. Free safety comes free. <laughs> Didn't get a chance to stand in and deliver that football. West took too long. Uh, not that he could have possibly gotten there unless he had rockets strapped to his feet. Uh, safety came in untouched, um, and so we get, try to get that, just get rid of it. Reese will get him running the out route here. Gordon in motion. Cameron gets upfield, comes open. He gets up there for the first down of the five-yard line. First and goal. We'll go no huddle here. I, we do have timeouts, but I'm going to go no huddle because I don't want to give this Steelers group a chance to... Uh, I don't want to give them a chance to swap out a bunch of personnel. Keep the clock running. Kyle Rudolph, wide open on the zig route, touchdown. Beats the zone. Beauty. Manziel, touchdown. His second toss of the game, and that is stellar. 26 seconds left following the extra point. Steelers don't even try to bring this one back, so that is solid. Solid, solid, solid. Offense, we've just brought it down a notch. Letting things play out a little more. Trying to keep Manziel in the pocket a little more. Try to call, just to, you know, just be more aware of our, our outlet routes, where we can check down. Uh, trying, to uh, trying to commit to the run a little more. And that, so far, has worked wonders for us. Um, certainly, early on in this game. Just, letting the play, just getting the ball into the hands of the playmakers and then letting them do their thing from there on out. Marcel Reese, catch over the middle, brought down but not before he goes for six yards, setting up third and three. Third and three, always a nice place to be. Uh, nice short yardage. Um, Cameron going to stand in to block. All kinds of motion here from the Steelers. Um, they do send a blitz. Manziel rolls to avoid it. Hits Gordon, who holds onto the football. Great play. And Swan Blake with the tackle. Manziel, 81% completions, 166 yards. Two touchdowns in this one, folks. Gotta love what he's able to do. Um, or has been able to do in this one. And uh, <clears throat> West about to get another carry off the left-hand side. He bounces this one right. Um, 
did a nice job of following his blocks. I don't know why he continued to run into coverage. Could have cut it up the middle of the field. But uh, we'll take it. Four yards. Decent carry. Decent carry. Clock running. We've now killed two and a quarter minutes of this third quarter, uh, which is wonderful. Fake play action. And uh, Manziel, oh, we tried to just do a little shovel pass in there to uh, to West, who was open um, just in front of Manziel. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, the animation didn't even start. Or he kind of brought the ball back, as you saw there. But, uh, but no dice. So on third and ten... You don't like to be on third and ten. Following the sack, we look to get this ball off somewhere and find someone who can make a nice catch. Rudolph is running the fade route, but Palomalu is going to be there. He's going to take that away. But Cameron open over the middle in front of the linebacker, strips a tackle, first down and a little more. 19 yards to be exact. That is stellar. That is stellar. And that means that we will get a fresh set of downs in Steeler territory. Manziel has thrown touchdown passes on two straight drives. And now he's got a chance to go long. Gordon makes a beautiful catch at the sideline. Gordon, for the first time this season, is putting up some impressive numbers. Great to see him out of his funk. And uh, continuing to run in this single back set. Manziel under center. It is working for us, folks. It is working excellently so far. Steelers backing off. And oh, in zone, we've got momentary glimpses. Manziel just going to take off. He fumbles out of bounds, as he always does. Um, but that gets us the first down. There were some flashes there. Gordon definitely open in the, in the end zone for at least a moment. Uh, we, we, we keep it conservative, though. If you can run for the first down, take the first down. Unless it's such an abundantly obvious decision to, to go to the end zone that uh, you can't help but do it. Flushed from the pocket, Manziel, open field, touchdown. Big pressure from our right, their left. Manziel flushes from the pocket and ends up running a perfect naked bootleg in for the score. That puts the Browns up for the first time in this game. And if the Browns offense can get a stop here, as they just did, we're going to have the ball in the lead. First quarter, or pardon me, third quarter, um, almost coming to a close at this point. That is stellar. Uh, absolutely stellar. We're going to get Cameron. Let's get Cameron running the fly. Hawkins going to run the going to run the curl because I think Paul Lamalu is coming up again. He does. Cameron not available, but Manziel is going to get a chance to take off. He gets a great downfield block. Got to love that block from Benjamin. Uh, if you didn't see it, go back and watch it again. Benjamin coming up, making a great play in the open field protecting his quarterback and uh that's a first down solid play solid play nothing came available but uh sometimes when you don't nothing comes available in front of you you can do something with your legs here we go to gary barnage the forgotten man in this offense 17 yards and keeping manzel under center today has been so wonderful he is playing so well we'll go with the cut back here for west see if he can maybe break this one out with a little bit of um, just a little bit of, uh, uh, and there you go, some misdirection, and West goes around the side. He gets great blocks down there from his offensive line. Seven rushes for 26 yards, a terrible average for West, barely over three yards a carry. But with that being said, um, he has been absolutely phenomenal when, uh, when given some blocks to work with. Solid play. That will likely lead us to this play, which will be the last play of the third quarter. And Benjamin, we go deep, overthrown. That's fine. Three seconds left. This will be the last play of the third quarter. Second and 10 at the 41-yard line of the Steelers. Browns have scored touchdowns on three consecutive drives. The first two through the air. The lightest one on the ground on the legs of Johnny Manziel. On second and 10 here, we'll go to the screen pass penetration from the Steelers. We get it out to West, who gets a hell of a block from Alex Mack. Unfortunately, next block is missed. That's going to bring up third and 11. Manziel, 17 of 21 on the day. Uh, stellar numbers, over 81%. He has been all day, basically. Um, definitely this back-to-basics approach so far um, has been successful. Very nice to see. Very nice to see the success here. And... Uh, Solid stuff. At the 42-yard line, here's our first real test of this drive. Uh, on third and 11, we are at the 42-yard line of the Steelers. Getting a first down here would be huge because it would almost ensure 
barring a turnover, that we would uh, get the opportunity to guarantee ourselves a field goal. And Gordon makes a great catch there. Hurt, unfortunately. Gordon went out of last game, came back perfectly healthy this week. He's hurt again, but he got behind the corner who didn't crash to the ball very well. Gordon makes a stellar catch, first down, and that, oh, that is stellar. Such stellar play. And here we go into the end zone. Benjamin had it and lost it. Defender knocked it loose. Man, you wonder how many times in this game has that happened? I, If Manziel, he's thrown five incompletions at this point. I can remember the, the ball being dislodged at least three times in this game. Who knows? He could have almost a 100-yard game at the, or 100% game at this point if it weren't for those drops. Um, hopefully that one doesn't cost us in the long run. Here we can go ahead. Eddie Royal, and oh, he another time in his hands, then out. Ouch, 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 ouch. Got to hold on to the football, guys. There came open on the quick curl. You did a nice job of keeping his body in front of the defender, shielding the defender away from the football. <clears throat> excuse me, however, um, was not able to make that catch and hold on to the football. Um, so here we go. Benjamin is man playing way off of him. If Palomalo doesn't sneak over there, we're going to him. And there we go. Benjamin, great catch. First down and goal. The Steelers have had just one possession in the entire second half. Browns chewing up the, the, the play clock. And Gordon, for the second consecutive game, as a Bruce Sternum will not be able to return. Uh, we'll go ahead to the I formation play here. Hand it off to West. He'll just pound it inside. And this will be key because it'll allow us to kill more time and uh, keep Ben Roethlisberger on the sideline where he belongs. West, decent carry. Would have loved to see him put his head down against that uh, corner as it stands. Uh, there looked to be a gain of about two. Second and goal upcoming from the five. Clock still running, which I love to see. clock down to about the 540 mark right now there it is uh reese gonna be the main uh, our main read on this play would love to hit him over the middle and there he is there's the catch there's the score touchdown browns four drives four touchdowns three through the air one on the ground wow gotta love it back to basics has paid off and gotta love it even more browns force their second consecutive two and out for the steelers in the second half that is huge 28 14 the score man alive this has been a stellar game such an improvement from the last one and in a divisional opponent stadium uh, having the opportunity to go up uh by two games in the standings to to, to send them down to two and two to go four and oh perfect in the through the first quarter of the season that would be stellar absolutely stellar clock running we hand it off to west on the left hand side he makes a nice play throws a stiff arm six yards off the left side second and four upcoming we'll give it to him again because why not when he's going to perform that well on first down we'll give it to him again um, this time we'll uh, we'll have him run it off the right side does gain an extra blocker this way with cameron running it there um, so we hand it off. There we go. Hand off there. And West got some room. The nose tackle eventually works his way off. That was Ellis. Works his way off Mac. But still, solid run. First down. Fresh set of downs. Another opportunity to kill two minutes of this clock, uh, which is stellar. We'll hand it off to West again, who's improved as the game's gone on. Uh, running game was struggling early. Has since caught fire. And uh, here we go. Hand it off on the right side. West throws a stiff arm that goes for three yards not bad at all allen with the tackle and uh let's go ahead here split let's go fullback belly a bit of a misdirection play here uh west will actually be the lead blocker for reese this time around the opposite of what the normal configuration is we'll wait for the 240 mark because that will allow us uh to get the clock down to the two minute warning following this play um so there it is 240 boom reese gets the handoff and he goes nowhere wrapped up for a loss he tried to bounce that one outside lawrence timmons would have none of it six tackles for timmons in this game and uh the, on the bad side of it um that that play goes for nothing on the on the plus side the play will get us down to the two minute warning we're not going to call this play here i'm not crazy about the way this is set up um steelers definitely looking to be in man weird defensive front set super far apart 
Um, almost tempted to run a halfback draw in that situation. I'm going to call a play upcoming with a draw play uh, called and some audible options from it uh, because that would be amazing to see that happen. Halfback draw will be the call. If they set up that same funky defensive front, they're not. They're, they're bringing all their guys back inside. Uh, we'll get Cameron running the fade. Benjamin can run the zig. Hawkins can run the fade. Let's, get, let's just make it a mirrored play. There we go. Heading up field, Cameron not available. Manziel just going to take off. He gets a few yards up to the 36-yard line, six yards for him, fourth and four. Steelers finally get the stop they're looking for. That's going to be a 53-yard attempt uh, by Justin Tucker that we're going to witness right here uh, under two minutes in the game. Um, this field goal would pretty much ice this one. Steelers do, of course, have their timeouts available but making it a three-score game would be great. And there it is. Tucker making his money today. Tucker's missed from 55-plus twice this year, uh, but he's perfect there, perfectly through the uprights. 31-14 the score, and uh, the Steelers now will have to come out and uh, put the ball in the air and uh, put together a drive. They, they do. They're using up a lot of the clock, but they do score a touchdown with 21 seconds left. And... Uh, Hopefully they don't. They might use all their timeouts here. Let's run the football here on first down, and uh, if the Steelers are calling their timeouts. We'll continue to run just to kill the clock. But uh, with a two-score game at this point, you got to figure this one's over, folks. Steelers are using their timeouts. Solid run by West on first down. We're just going to call the exact same play on second down and three here. First down should end this one for good. Uh, if if West is stopped, a run on third down should probably end the game. Uh, free safety on the blitz. Reese picks him up. West with the first down. Steelers call a timeout, but this game is over. Fresh set of downs for the Browns means that we can just take a knee and end this one, either on this play or the next play. Browns going to improve to 4-0, and baby. 4-0 and at the top of the AFC North. That is stellar. It continues their winning streak in the regular season, dating back to last season. I believe they the, the Browns won. I want to say they they won six straight to start the season, and then won eleven straight following their last loss. No, that doesn't make sense. I think they won nine straight down the stretch. Or maybe they started five and zero. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back to the video. But at the very least, with four this year and at least nine last year, they've won thirteen straight regular season games. And uh, won eight straight against their division rivals, the uh, the Bengals, Ravens, and Steelers. Great stuff. Final score, 31-21. Player stats in this one. Um, Johnny Manziel, 21 of 27, 273 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. Ben Roethlisberger, almost as good, 24 for 35, 253, also three touchdowns, no picks. Running the football, Terrence West, 13 carries for 52 yards. Le'Veon Bell, 9 for 32. Manziel, 8 for 44 and a score. Antonio Brown, 2 for 10. Receiving Antonio Brown, 11 catches for 123 yards. Great game. Josh Gordon, 5 for 86 before he got hurt. Lance Moore, 5 for 53, two scores. Le'Veon Bell had the other one with 3 for 21. Marcel Reese also with a touchdown pass, 3 for 21. Cameron, six for, uh, 3 for 68. Royal, 3 for 31 and a score. Also for the Browns today, um, Terrence West, 3 for 19. Travis Benjamin, 1 for 14. Barnage, 1 for 17. Rudolph, 1 for 5. And Bay, uh, Bay, uh, Bayelli Cole, I guess we'll call him that, four uh, yards off one catch. Defensively, Justin Gilbert and Lawrence Timmons, Quinn Copples, Cortez Allen, Paul Kruger led the game with six tackles. A lot of guys tied up there at the top of the list. Copples had a sack. Allen had a sack, as did Barkevius Mingo. No picks in this one. Kicking-wise, Justin Tucker was perfect. Punting-wise, boom, boom. Mesco, 45-yard punt, not bad. Uh, returns there and there and that is it folks thank you so much for joining me today uh, for this wonderful game uh, tomorrow will be the last episode before I am gone for three weeks um, so please tune in for that tomorrow on Thursday uh, episode number five of season two of this Johnny Manziel series um, again three week break until the very beginning of July um, or pardon me very uh, beginning of August um, of course next month August um, it will be in effect. So join me for that. And uh, again, as always, thank you for your viewership. And until next time, I'm Tuxedo T-Shirt, and I'm out.